Well, we will also be discussing your new book, um, but I do want to ask you about tomorrow is going to mark the one year anniversary of George Floyd's death in Minneapolis, your hometown uh, county where you were once the lead prosecutor and, you know, where you now are the senior senator. Could you talk a little bit about where the country finds itself now a year after George Floyd's death and the subsequent verdict, the sub subsequent guilty verdict against the police officer who um, who killed him? Yes, well, first of all, um, Keith Ellison and his team did just this incredible job uh, with that case. And it was a moment of redemption. And I think part of what happened um, as we look back at the horrible murder of George Floyd, um, part of what happened there and the reason the case worked um, was that the facts were really clear, but also um, it was um, the fact that these witnesses, and they were really our voices, the voices of so many people who testified and said they were shouldering this burden for too long, that they had woken up at night saying, how could I have done something differently? How could I have saved George Floyd's life? Um, and that brings it really to where we are now, because while the verdict uh, was, as, as I said, redemptive, you can't confuse accountability with justice. And justice to me would be passing the George Floyd Justice and Policing Act. It would be making changes around the country. Uh, so what happened to him and his family who were there with us in Minnesota uh, this weekend, that this never happens again.